So who's winning, who's losing? What's the hell's going on? Loose cannon and businessmen are the ones that are up. The four professional poker players are down. Or out. Loose cannon's up nearly a buck forty. Says he's going to fold every hand the rest of the match. Let's see if he changes his tune if he starts picking up monsters. Action starts on David Williams. He folds. Lock. Sixes. Raises to 2,000. Kata out. Mercier, pocket pair. Even though there's only 40 hands to go, Mercier bought in for a quarter mil to make sure he can cover the biggest stack at the table. He calls. Aces for the cannon. <laughs> uh, still aces. You can't make this stuff up. Whoa. Let's see if he makes the raise. He's thinking of set pedaling, boys. <laughs> nice call, Locke. He's thinking. Throws him away. What? What was that one? It's, it's over. Action's over. Two to the flop. Six king, six quads for lock. I can't believe it, Vance. <laughs> David Fishman folds aces. Would have been out flopped by quads. If this happened in a movie, I would say it's too unrealistic. Lock bets 3,300. Welcome to the game, Jason Mercier. Who quickly calls. That flop will look pretty innocuous to Mercier. The turn. Jack of spades. Lock checks. Lock's checking for deception. There's a chance the paint may give Jason more of a reason to get away from this on the river. Mercier checks. Deuce on the river. Lock's trying to decide how big a value bet Jason will call. Ten thousand four hundred. Not quite an overbet, but a big bet. He's giving Jason the chance to put him on a bluff. Mercier calls. Ah, yeah. That's a sigh of relief. Oh, well. I almost raised. Wow. Just kidding. Fishman puts his head down so he can let all the bullets fly by. It would be wrong to bet the turn, and I could go for a little check call on the turn. A lock's win has now put him in Profitville. Yeah, on the turn, I knew I had a good hand, too. That's why I lay down pocket jacks. Did you really or no? What was it? it wouldn't necessarily pocket aces. Bad fold. No. Was it really? You had aces free flop? <laughs> no way. I'd love to he see that. He didn't think forever it had this weird look. <laughs> it's like, what? Sorry. It's the first time he's tanked. That's the first time really? They, they can't make fun of me now for laying down pocket aces free would, flop. Well, if he's lying, he'll look like a liar when we see it on TV. And we'll know. And everybody watching, well, this guy is making stuff up. I'd rather you didn't. I have to win at least one hand, okay? Just at least one. He's 2-0. Oh. <laughs> well, I'm glad you made it here too, Phil. I always wanted to play with at least one Phil, and now I got two, so I mean, that's just awesome. Every time. Is he talking about moi? Don't worry, you'll get your fill of Phil's this week. One with red and yellow hair, the other will make you pull your hair out. <laughs> Helmuth. Looking at six. Queen. Folds. David Fishman, the loose cannon, jack eight. Looks like he wants to play. He limps. Not crazy about that limp. <laughs> I don't like your outlook right now. Williams calls. Lock. Calls. So the damage that I had, Joe's in. dislocated elbow, shattered wrist. Try geminal nerve damage right here. Uh, 35 stitches around my eye, and actually I'm getting surgery. My, my, uh, I check my. Phil checks to Joe, who checks. The, the orbital plate, orbital plate that's holding my eyeball in is kind of like broken, and some of the fat from my eye is sinking down. So they, they have to put a plate in. Call. Do you have insurance? Health uh, insurance? I'm just. I, you know, it's really amazing. I let my insurance dry up. And I've just been paying cash out of pocket, and I'm surprised it's not doesn't hurt. The bills are not like it's not it's not super sick, you know. Meanwhile, the loose cannon David Fishman is semi bluff the flop, 32, and fires again. I'm like a pretty bad six things happened to me: broken rib and lots of I don't know. I've just been paying out of pocket. It's not that bad. If Locke thought his nine was good enough to call him the flop, 3200, then not much has changed here. He calls again. Captain calling the calling station. <laughs> Hailing all frequencies. Ace of hearts on the river. 
Lock checks. Let's see if David can fire the third photon torpedo or checks his way into the escape shuttle. Ten. He fires ten grand. I didn't love the pre-flop limp, but this is a very nice three-barrel attempt early on. I don't have a ten. And you're betting ten. That's probably a bad spot for me to be in. Oh, but I love calling, as Perkins knows, <laughs> you know? If I fold, you're going to show, right? You want me to show? Yeah. First hand I'm in, you want me to show? Make yeah, pay you. if I fold. You got to pay it. Nah, you can't pay it. I don't know. We'll see. If I show, will you show? I'm folding. I fold. I fold. He folds. Now, if I show, will you show? No. Fishman takes down the pot. <laughs> if that was a bluff, sir, that was a, a well bold bluff because I did not have a 10. Good move, loose cannon. No free health care, no free information. <laughs> that was a well bold bluff, whatever that is. Nice start for David Fishman. Actually, if I lost that one, I would be calm because I've been whining too much, so. Story checks out. This story begins on David Williams, King 10. You would have got, got my money. I would, I would have snap called with a pair of kings. Right. Raises? Oh, yeah, I know, I know. That's why, that's why I've been kind of like bummed out that I... Because you were like drawing dad. Phil calls. Fishman's out. How much is it? It's a lot of money. It's not going to be able to do any business deals, but I'll, I'll call him. <laughs> Perkins calls. I hope Perkins shareholders aren't watching this. Five jack, jack on the flop. Check. Perkins checks. Williams checks. Helmuth fires 4,000. Phil's got the best hand. That gets Phil's nemesis out of the way. But Williams calls. Looks like Williams is floating here. The turn, the queen of clubs. Williams checks an open-ended straight draw. Phil's still best, but you can see David has decent equity. Helmuth fires 4,000. Even a five or a queen can counterfeit Phil's hand. Williams calls. The river, king of diamonds, gives Williams the lead. Bink. Williams checks, so's Phil. King. <laughs> Here it comes. That's the ejector seat straight out of Goldfinger. Yeah, you know David you know Williams. <laughs> Moron, mother <laughs> <laughs> You hit the queen on the turn? Yeah, I hit a queen on the turn, buddy. Oh, your, your five didn't hold up. You think I had a five? Or your pair of sevens or whatever it was. I don't know. I had nothing. Good play. I'm sure David Williams won't apologize for that one. All I would, all I ask is, all I ask, you can keep beating me, Potts. Just when I have the over pair and you have top pair and we put in about a hundred each. Just, don't hit the, the yeah, don't hit the weird the, thing. Yeah. Don't hit the weird out. Because you're gonna, you're gonna put a lot of money in with one top pair and I'm gonna have the big pair when we start really playing. I'm gonna playing. catch. That's my style. <laughs> You're gonna be looking for insurance, and you're not gonna to want to pay the vig, and you know. <laughs> then I'm gonna hit, and then you're gonna go walking off the stage somewhere. And... You got it all scripted out. Yeah, I got like it, it scripted. It's, a, it's five limpers, ace jack for fishman. Just so long as you get all the money in with the worst of it. Pot. Oh, the cannon gets everybody's attention. Fishman's almost got the best hand. I Man, you haven't played a hand since the Eisenhower administration. All of a sudden, you bet in the pot. In the. One, two, three, four, five of us. Respect. I agree. Respect. No respect. Williams shows no respect. He calls. Locks in two. Same for Kata. Wow, this is so sick. This is so sick. The rest of these pros are giving Fishman about as much respect as Rodney Dangerfield. <laughs> Bold. <laughs> this is very dramatic. I'm dramatic because you'll see, you'll, everything will make sense later to you. At least it gives you credit. Because I limped in with a huge hand because I'm running bad. Now I'm thinking about re-raising. 
I That's what's think, going I know on. what you're thinking. You're just thinking about it a long time. I'm supposed to put the money in, but I'm not going to. Bill folds, finally. I'm going to check in the dark. Cannon's checked in the dark. It's an interesting move from an amateur. The flop. Ace, deuce, five, three diamonds. Cata flops a straight. Fishman, who checked in the dark, has top pair in a flush draw. Williams a set. Things are about to get real, real in here. Williams bets 12,000. Williams just bet three quarters pot with a very strong hand, but it's not the best one. Lock folds. It's not as good as Cata's, who's got a straight. He just calls. Lights, camera, action, flop. Everybody's got something. How much you got behind? Fishman's got top pair and a big flush draw. 48 more. 48,000? Behind this, 60 total. You got, you, you put in for an extra 50, right? So. This is a really tough spot for the cannon. Either a call or a fold would be acceptable. He calls. Check in the dark. And checks in the dark again. King of hearts on the turn. Mullen. David Williams shoves. The only thing Cat is behind to right now is a flopped flush. We know David's only got a set. Having a straight puts you in a tough spot here because you cannot improve. If Cat is behind to Williams, he's drawing dead. And if he's ahead, David Williams is likely to have a lot of outs. Cat is getting about two to one on his money, which is decent odds. Joe Strait was beaten by Phil's flush just a few hands ago. Let's see if he can make the right call here. Sorry, guys. Fishman still to act behind. And Kata lays down a straight. Man, I want to know what you laid down. <laughs> that might make a difference. <sighs> that was a brutal spot for the kid. If either of you guys want to ask each other a question, I have one for you to, for the next time. Ace queen with the diamond queen. This should be a much easier lay down for Fishman. I'm going to give it up. Fishman folds. I don't want to see that. I would pay money to see that hand. How much would you pay? I'll pay 500 bucks to see that hand. You will pay $500 to see this hand. Right now. Send the money. <laughs> I would have busted you. He'll pay 5000 not to see it. Well, ship the 500. Well, David Williams is nearly back to even, thanks to the $500 bonus. I had the best end. I had the best end. Well, let's see if Williams can get back on track or if Kata can keep it going. Action folds over to Kata, who's out. Helmuth raises. King Queen for Fishman. I don't win very many pots from this spot, so <laughs> in a fit of discipline. Wow. Fishman calls. Perkins is out. Williams. An absolute fit. Calls. David Williams in real bad shape with a real loose defend. Maybe a little tilty from that last hand. Deuce Jack, ace, two clubs, action flop. This looks like a fun board. Williams checks bottom pair. Helmuth checks top pair. Fishman leads out with a semi bluff. Williams folds. Helmuth raises. This is a pretty easy call with a flush draw, gut shot, and two big cards. And there it is by Fishman. Five of hearts on the turn gives Helmuth two pair. He bets 15 grand. We know Fishman isn't getting great immediate odds since his pairs are still no good, but PH could be doing this with worse flush draws, and he's got enough behind for decent implied odds. Add it all up, and Fishman makes the call. He's looking for a club or a 10. The river, there's the 10 completing the straight. Fishman swims the upstream battle and runs down the great one. Action on Helmuth. 23,600. Bets 23,6. 23,600 to a $45,000 pot. This is pretty dirty. Fishman's reverse peddling the nuts. Clearly he's gonna raise. The only question is how much and can he get Phil to call? 
I'm not gonna let you do this to me again, Phil. I can't let you do this to me again. Leonardo DiCaprio could not be selling this any better. How much you got behind? Was there an answer to that? <laughs> like 85 or something. <laughs> Uh, I'm all in. Fishman shoves. He even fake hesitated. Watch that Oscar, I'm Leo. I'm done. I'm done, Phil. I see method acting, improv, pantomime. If Phil calls here, the kid stays in the picture. This is so sick. I mean, I just, I just, do I just, is it possible that I just get cooled every hand I play here? You got king, queen of clubs? I mean, I guess so. Phil's put him on his exact hand, but if he does make this call, the loose cannon will have a profit of more than 140,000 and will be poised to take down that NAPT passport. God, all that talking leads me to believe him. Wow. Now that might be real. I'd certainly be shaking either way. All right, I call. Helmuth calls and sees King Queen of Clubs. Bingo! See, see, if a club comes, I don't lose one nickel in the sand. What a pot for Fishman. I mean, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. What can I even play in this game? I mean, what the f they find all, I mean, what the f I mean, how can I even play in this game? It's like I just get cheated. I mean, hand after hand after hand. Don't blame Blaine the dealer. We all know it's the seat that's unlucky. Give the amateur an offsuit 10. I don't lose one nickel if he hits a club. It's just un real. Where are these cards coming from? David Fishman with 53 hands left has a six figure profit and he can taste that NAPT passport. <laughs> and, and, and you know what? I would have called him quicker except he, he talked so much that I thought he was super strong. But I know he can't move in with ace 10. That was a great read, by the way. You had him. Yeah, was... You're a real classy guy, buddy. A... You are. Who? Him? You. Why? What did I do? Why would you say that? I mean, why would you, why would you, I mean, what are you trying to do? You, the guy hits a miracle 10 on me and what, you want to just step on me? He's a school me? teacher and you and him have endless trunks of money. <laughs> endless trunks of money. He's a school teacher. For God's sakes, man. Screaming will do you a lot of good. Oh my God. I don't want to die. I don't want to go f***ing at all.